Radar facilities are usually divided into sectors, with each sector under the jurisdiction of a different controller. Although controllers are required to keep aircraft within their area of jurisdiction, sometimes it is necessary to have aircraft briefly enter another controller's airspace. When this happens, controllers must coordinate with each other in the form of a point-out. My name is Kyle Warner. I'm an air traffic control student here at the University of North Dakota. In this episode, we will cover what point-outs are, when they are necessary, and what phraseology must be used today on ATCast. The rules governing pointouts are found in the 7110.65 in Chapter 5, Section 4, Paragraph 7. First off, let's define what a pointout is. A pointout is defined as a physical or automated action to transfer the radar identification of an aircraft to another controller if the aircraft will or may enter the airspace of another controller and radio communications will not be transferred. Basically, a pointout means that radar identification is transferred to another controller, but radio communications are not. A pointout is used to gain the permission of a controller to use his or her airspace in the event that one of your aircraft will or may enter that controller's airspace. Notice the phrase, will or may. This means that you can initiate a point-out if you think that your aircraft may enter another controller's airspace, even if it actually does not. If one of your aircraft may possibly enter another controller's airspace, give the point-out and your bases are covered. Point-outs can be used in many situations. One common instance at Academy Approach is for traffic departing Jeski Air Force Base and leaving through the Collin or May's departure gates. Instead of handing that aircraft off to the north controller, it is often more efficient for the south controller to simply do a point out. Another example is if an aircraft must be vectored across final for spacing. If an aircraft is not turned from the downwind leg to academy and begins to get close to Aero Center's airspace, it must be pointed out to Aero Center. Remember that aircraft must be separated from Center's airspace boundary by at least a mile and a half, and if they penetrate this protected zone without a point out, you have violated center's airspace. In short, a point out is necessary anytime you wish to use another controller's airspace for any reason. There are certain restrictions when using point outs. The 7110 states, the transferring controller shall obtain verbal approval before permitting an aircraft to enter the receiving controller's airspace. This means the point out must be requested before the aircraft crosses the other controller's airspace boundary. These are the boundaries for Academy Approach. Aero Center's airspace begins at 13,000 feet MSL to provide altitude separation with Academy Approach and from ground level outside a 35 nautical mile radius of Academy Airport. Like Academy Approach, Aero Center is divided into two sectors, North or Miami sector and South or McAllister sector. Springfield Approach owns the airspace shown here to 8,000 MSL. Approval for a point-out gives the transferring controller permission to enter the receiving controller's airspace and to do exactly what was requested during the point-out. If the transferring controller needs to do something different once the point-out has been approved, it must be coordinated again with the receiving controller. The transferring controller must also abide by any restrictions issued by the receiving controller, such as altitudes or speeds to maintain. The controller receiving the point-out is responsible for verifying the target's identity and ensuring separation between that target and his or her other traffic. The phraseology for the point out is as follows. The phrase point out, the location of the aircraft, unless physically pointing at the other controller's radar display, the aircraft call sign, or squat code if no call sign is displayed, the altitude of the aircraft, and finally, your intentions with the aircraft. The receiving controller should respond by stating the identification of the aircraft being pointed out and the phrase, point out approved. Let's listen to a couple examples of point outs. North. South, point out seven miles northwest of Jeski Takan, Navy 73410, climbing to 12,000, mains high departure. Navy 73410, point out approved, November Bravo. 
Sí, bravo. Miami sector. Approach north, point out two niner miles east of Tulsa Vortac, ABEX 685 heavy, turning right heading 330. ABEX 685 heavy, point out approved, November Bravo. Julie Bravo. The controller receiving the point out may approve the point out and then issue traffic. If this happens, you are responsible for observing the traffic and maintaining separation from it with your aircraft. North. South, point out. 17 miles southeast of Academy Airport, Skywest 263 at 4,000 vectors across funnel for spacing, then turning left to intercept the localizer. Skywest 263, point out approved, traffic 10 o'clock, 13 miles eastbound, heavy DC-10 at 3,000, maintain 4,000. Track observed, maintain 4,000, Julie Bravo. November Bravo. The point out must also be indicated on the flight progress strip for the aircraft you are pointing out. Write a P in the lower right hand corner of block 9 followed by the facility ID you are coordinating with. When you make the point out, place a check mark before the P to indicate that the coordination has been accomplished. Academy Approach North is AACN and South is AACS. Aero Center North is ZAEN and South is ZAES. Now for a quick review. A point out is a transfer of radar identification but not communications and is used when an aircraft will or may enter another controller's airspace. When using a point out, verbal approval must be obtained before entering another controller's airspace. Academy Approach is divided into two sectors, north and south. Two other facilities, Aero Center and Springfield Approach, also border Academy's airspace. Make sure you coordinate with the correct facility if pointing out an aircraft. The controller receiving the point out may approve the point out and then issue traffic. If this happens, you are responsible for observing the traffic and maintaining separation from it with your aircraft. Approval of a point out means that you may enter the other controller's airspace with that aircraft and do exactly what you requested during the point out. Any actions other than what was approved during the point out must be coordinated separately. The phraseology for the point out consists of five elements. The phrase point out, the location of the aircraft, unless physically pointing at the other controller's radar display, the aircraft call sign, or squawk code if no call sign is displayed, the altitude of the aircraft, and finally, your intentions with the aircraft. The receiving controller should respond by stating the identification of the aircraft being pointed out in the phrase, point out approved. On behalf of UND Air Traffic Control, the Student Air Traffic Controller Association and the Aerospace Network, I would like to thank you for tuning in. My name is Kyle Warner. Frequency change approved. For more information on UND Air Traffic Control and to see other videos in this series, visit www.aero.und.edu or search for ATCAST on iTunes University.